were in the Sawtooths. We spent an awesome like 24 hours in Yellowstone and then we headed over to Idaho, stopped at Craters of the Moon, which was really cool. First time there. Typically we've always just kind of passed by it, but really glad we stopped. Hiked a little kind of cinder cone volcano for sunset and then headed here to the Sawtooths after sleeping at a rest stop. We spent all day at Redfish Lake today and it was incredible. We barely used the cameras. We were just chilling, paddle boarding, chilling on the beach, had a great spot, a little picnic. It was amazing. And after that, we made it here to our campsite, which was not easy to find. Everything was sold out. Everything first come, first serve was full. So we're doing dispersed camping in the National Forest. And then I believe the hike we're doing is in the wilderness area. Not an easy place to come, but it's also the middle of summer and tomorrow's a Saturday. So we're hiking Goat Lake tomorrow. Should be an awesome morning. And yeah, we're gonna get up at four. Hopefully uh, can get up there before it gets too busy. Welcome to our home. Welcome to our humble abode. <laughs> Hold on, let me show you, Kevin. <laughs> well, this is what he looks like right now. Good morning. It's a little before 5 a.m. and we are here in the Sawtooths of Idaho. And we're going to do Goat Lake. It's about eight miles ish and 1,700 feet of gain, with a thousand of that being in like the last tiny bit of the hike so that'll be a big push um it looks really beautiful um it seems like a really busy popular area so we're here early trying to get a head start to beat some of the crowds It's 6.17, we left exactly one hour ago and it is sunrise, still in the trees, but so far we haven't seen a single other person. So the early wake up was definitely worth it. There were like 50 cars in the lot though. So might be a lot of backpackers up the lake. We'll see, but so far the trail is amazing. Cruiser, um, not too steep. So just be that last climb probably, but really nice trail. Temperature is perfect. It's amazing. Looks like it's gonna be an insane view at the lake. Good morning. So many freaking spider webs. We've just been like wiping ourselves for the last two miles. But they're stuck to us because they're cobwebs and they're sticky. They're just everywhere. <laughs> super steep section probably halfway through um, super steep and a little bit of route finding but for the most part pretty solid um, sun's coming up so it's definitely getting hotter uh, so more tiring because of that but still haven't seen anyone on the trail and we're probably less than a half mile to the lake While we hike the final stretch to the lake, I want to tell you more about Onyx Backcountry. Onyx is a hiking app that provides you with hiking and backpacking routes with elevation changes and terrain maps where you can custom make routes with waypoints and download offline maps for when you're out of service. The app has more than 650,000 miles of trails and more than 1,500 adventures to help you plan your next outdoor trip. My favorite feature is the offline maps, specifically that you can download maps with a 5, 10, or 150 mile radius, which is helpful because it also shows you nearby trails and your surroundings. Onyx also shows you all sorts of things like private lands, wilderness areas, national forests, and national parks. You can download Onyx for free, but if you want to access all of their amazing premium features, you can sign up for their elite membership with the link down below and get 20% off your purchase with promo code Kevin Isa. Thank you Onyx, and now back to Goat Lake. Alright, so we're at the lake. We got about half of it in sun. 
half of it in shade. So I think we're gonna camp out and just hang for the next few hours or however long it takes for the sun to hit the whole lake. Some better photos, just so it's not so many harsh lights and dark shadows. So gonna be chilling for a sec, have our turkey sandwiches and just have a good day at the lake. One rock over there that I really liked and I want it. <laughs> so I wanna go get my rock. <laughs> Not like a little rock to take home, like a rock to sit at. It's a spot. Bree just went to find her rock and hope that no one stole it. I just climbed up. Oh, I'll show you. I just climbed up some of this for a few hundred feet. Beautiful scrambling, beautiful rock. So we're just gonna have some time to kill. Came back down. Now I'm gonna go find Bree and hopefully no one stole her rock. gonna get these views at her rock guys so make sure you find this rock we decided to wait it out to get the Sun on the water to expose the beautiful color of it and it's coming out slowly but surely we're waiting look at that color behind me it is so beautiful you almost think you're in like Switzerland or like the Alps or something and it's awesome cool really really cool little hidden gem here in Idaho in the Saltus everything's amazing and I just want to let you know that my rock is rock so I was right earlier and the sun's out the water's bright green and it is beautiful this is nuts and it's warm I just want you guys to know that, that is a huge feat for me because I hate being cold I don't like the water really and I'm a baby so making moves out here in Idaho. Right, we just finished here swimming, taking photos and videos, and now we're headed back down and we are contemplating doing another hike tonight, but overnighting it um, because it's late in the day. And yeah, why not? cut my birthmark. <laughs> so we're about halfway down. The heat is crazy. So at this moment, I'm regretting wearing pants, but that's fine. Um, come early because we have passed like 200 people on their way up, which is crazy because we had like this beautiful oasis part of the lake to ourselves for hours. So early wake up call worth it. The hike was amazing. I highly, highly, highly recommend that. If you're in the area and you do one thing, have it be this. It is amazing. But like, honestly, you start before the sun's out because it is freaking hot and there's a ton of people. All right, so that's a wrap. It's been about nine miles and like 1800 vert. It's been awesome. So that's gonna wrap up this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you're here, do this hike. It's definitely the best one in the in all the Saltus, I think. And don't forget to download Onyx Backcountry down below. You can use my link. Um, awesome great place for your offline maps i will see you guys later